Okay, tell me if you can notice the difference between this. So I'm in plank, lower down, come up, and this. So I'm in plank, lower down, and come up. Okay, so this is a transition that we do a lot in vinyasa flow classes and in Ashtanga yoga in particular. And it's, it's a good idea to try to work on this very fundamental transition because it will really help you build strength and you'll also learn how to protect your shoulders. So in this video, I'm going to show you three ways that you can lower down into Chaturanga or lower plank, three ways that you can roll up into upward facing dog. And I'll also give you two little bonus tips in the end and for which you'll need two blocks. And these will help you figure out how far to lower down and also ways to help you build strength in order to be able to do this transition from, from plank pose. So get your two blocks and let's get started. Okay, so the three ways we can lower down into Chaturanga will build from the easiest to the hardest. So if you want, you can follow along and just stop wherever is enough for you. So the easier version is, we've got our hands under our, our wrists under our shoulders and we keep our knees on the ground. And then what we want to do is we bring our elbows into our ribs and lower down and lie down. That's considered the easier version. A harder version from that is to come into plank. And remember, in plank, we want to push the floor away. So we come into high plank. And from here, we lower down and try to touch the floor all at the same time. That's a bit harder version. And then the, let's say, hardest version or the one we're aiming for is to lower down, but stop in Chaturanga. And from here, we go up, okay? So work on whichever one is right for you. And then in order to come up, there's three ways to do that from lower plank, chaturanga. The first way is, and again, this depends on your body type and what's right for you. I'll tell you which one is the best for me. So, but depending on your body, you'll find which suits you. So from plank, come down into chaturanga. And now for some people, they like to switch their feet and come up. I find that a bit hard for me because I feel I put too much weight onto my hands, but if that's right for you, you can do that. Another way is to lower and then immediately come forward. But for some people, that means that their shoulders might be a bit too far forward. This sometimes works for me, but my favorite version is this third version, which you come down, you go a bit back and then slide over your toes. And for me, this one is, the best option. So find the best one that's for you and work on your chaturanga to up dog. <clears throat> okay, so here's your little bonus tip. The one way to know, okay, here's what we don't want actually. So what we don't want is when we're lording down, and this is what a lot of people do, what we, we don't want to do is when we're lording down to allow the shoulders to dip. We don't want to do that because that will end up putting too much pressure on our shoulders. So here's two ways that we can figure this out. One, use your two blocks and then bring your hands like this on the outside of your blocks and keep your blocks shoulder width apart. Now put your hands down, come into your plank pose and from here, lower down. And then you'll see that this is the correct height for my shoulders. So this is one way to do it. Another way to do it, which I also quite like, is place your two blocks here. Think that they're gonna go, let's say, around your chest. So put your blocks down. And then what we're going to do is the same exact thing. But I want you to think that you want all of the parts of your, our chest or wherever it touches the blocks to touch it at the same time. Don't relax here and then see if you can push up. Now this is a really strong strengthening exercise. So you could, if this is too hard, you could always do it on your knees. Bring your knees down and try to touch the blocks at the same time. And as you will see, this will help you build the strength in your arms that you need in order to do your full 
Chaturanga to Up Dog. So if we try to put these into practice, you might need a mirror if you're doing it with the blocks or even without you, you might need a mirror just to see your shoulders. So we come into plank pose again. Think of your body as a straight line, push the floor away and we lower down to where those blocks were. Find the version that's right for you. I push back and come up. And when you come up, shoulders back, look forward or look up and then downward facing dog. So this is a transition that we do quite a lot in Ashtanga yoga. So it's best to find whatever is right for you and whatever will help you build towards being able to do this sequence. So I hope you find this helpful. If you have found it helpful, consider liking this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.